Look closely, Fahim, for here is revealed the truth of the Lamp of Aziz. It is written that the Lamp was once inhabited by a genie of great gifts, granter of three wishes. Long ago, a foolish master released the genie from servitude, and the Lamp was hidden away. The genie will remain free until the lamp is again unearthed. This will be no simple task, Fahim. First, one must possess the ring by which the wearer becomes master of the carpet. The carpet will transport the wearer to the cave of Shama. The lamp of Aziz awaits. Only the pure of heart may lift the lamp from its pedestal, thus bringing back the genie to serve once more. of Shalah are just one of the many wonders of Morocco. To protect the ancient ruins, a world-class museum was built around them. Can you even believe it, Jane? You're at the finals of the future top designer contest! You so rock! Oh, thanks, Chloe, but I'm not exactly there yet. <gasps> there it is! Come on, people, let's go! We don't have much time. Excuse me. <laughs> Look! Mmm! Whoa, <laughs> yes! Chloe, take these in and see if they have an iron we can use. Yasmin, make sure that they all stay together. I'll check us in. Hustle, hustle, hustle! I know she's excited, but that girl needs to chill. Of course, nothing can chill in this heat. 
Jade has a real passion for fashion. True that. And this fashion competition should be bumping. <sighs> hey, look out now. Sorry, Sasha. This thing's kind of awkward. Whoa. Here, let me help. Thank you, Sasha. Now, this carpet's not going to fly away or anything, is it? I promise. It has been stripped of its powers. It's awesome that your dad's letting us use it before he puts it in the museum. Well, uh, technically it will be in the museum when we use it. Your dad doesn't know it's going to be in the fashion show, does he? Not exactly. Are you sure you want to do that? Well, I... Excuse me. I must Whoa! Be... Hello? Father, I was just about to call you. My dear Katya, did you arrive at the museum yet? Is everything all right? Yes, Father. Everything is fine. <laughs> I am sorry, child. I was just checking on you again. That's all right, Father. I was just going to call you because I feel so guilty leaving you at home all alone. I worry about you. We haven't been this far apart since... My dearest daughter, you do not have to worry about this old man. I'm keeping myself busy. In fact, my sweet, I have to be on my way now. All right. I must get ready for the event as well. Good, good. Very good. I don't have to remind you how important the carpet is, yes? I do hope that it is safely inside the museum. Oh, uh, yes, father. It is Whoa. at the museum. <laughs> good. I'm glad to have left it in such good hands. Thank you, Father. No need to worry. I am missing you, my sweet. I love you. We shall be lifted into the air as if on a genie's magic carpet. Cool! You rock, Katya! Great! You're up next, ladies! This is it! This is it! Let's, Let's go! go. Are, Are you ready? ready? Okay. Okay. What is it? <laughs> Indeed. I'll inform Sebastian. Yes. 
Aziz? Salam, my brother. As you already know, the ring of Aziz has been stolen from the Shalah Museum. The important thing now for you to do is to secure the carpet yourself and Katya. in the carpet. Yeah! 
Come on, pick up. I am not available to receive your call right now. Please leave a message and I will call you right back. Katya, my child, please listen carefully. I know you have taken the family carpet, Voice but... Box. Ahmad, call me a cab! of the desert and master of this carpet. My father is the master of that carpet. Uh, the owner, I mean. He has given it to the museum. It won't be the first thing the museum has lost tonight. It is not yours. It came to me. It is mine. Then I will take it back. You will not. Hey, leave her alone. Give her back the carpet. Who will make me? Just give it to her. Get away. <laughs> It's mine! Give it to her! No! Silence! What's going on here? This little thief is trying to steal Katya's carpet! That's right! The carpet? Yes, sir. I brought it to put in the Shala Museum. And somehow, this girl has taken it from me. Is that true? Uh, yes, Said. I took the ring and... You stole this as well? But I was only doing as you... Quiet! You really are a little thief, aren't you? Wait a minute. Who are you? Forgive my manners. I am Willard Shallow, professor of archaeology. What are you doing way out here in the middle of nowhere? Archaeology takes one to strange places, my dear. I understand your concern for the safety of this precious carpet. It looks like a magnificent specimen. I'll make sure that it gets to where it belongs. Thank you for the offer, Professor Charlot. But it is my responsibility to bring it to the museum myself. Ah, such a conscientious girl. But you know, my dear, the Shela Museum has several carpets of this quality. I wonder if I might offer to purchase it from you instead. It is not for sale. I will pay handsomely for it. Money will not change my mind. <laughs> of course! You would not choose to be bought off. You are much too pure of heart. So, uh... It was really nice to meet you and everything, Professor, but do you think you could help us get back to the city now? If we hurry, we can get there before the show is over! Patience, ladies! At least allow me the honor of getting a good look at the carpet. It is stunning. Do you know what all these symbols mean? Yes, the four corners represent the far corners of the world. There are more things in heaven and earth, Horatio, than are dreamt in your philosophy. What? Well, I mean, we know that the carpet flies, right? We can't explain it, but it happened. The important thing now is to get it, and us, back to the museum. Hopefully, Katya can get Professor Charlot to help us. This looks like a symbol of abundance. Really? I never knew. Come down and have a look. It's quite lovely. Carpet! Rise! Hey! Katya! Katya! Wait! Hey! No! Please! Come back! Come back! What are we gonna do? He can't just take her! We have to stop them! What can we do? Look around, guys! 
no free water. Only water for trade. We're merely here to get some water. Then we'll be on our way. <laughs> Crazy old woman. Oh, older than you by a day, wiser than you by a year. Professor Charlot, Saeed, you must talk to me, please. Why did you try to leave without me, Saeed? That is not part of our plan. You used the ring. That was not part of the plan either. But I... I only wore it long enough to bring the carpet to you. Thoughtful. Still, not part of the plan. Come along, pure one. Uh. Oh. This carpet must go to the museum. I gave my word to my father. I will not let you take it. Whatever. Carpet, rise! Uh, no! Stop! Bring us down! No! No! Desert, Jade. We have to find a way to help Katya. Try your cell phone again, Chloe. I'm on it. Hello? Hello, is this Katya's father? This is Katya's friend, Chloe. Um, uh, Sasha has something she'd like to tell you. Hello? Hello? Uh, uh hello, Mr. Aziz? <laughs> Katya is in great danger. You must not let the carpet reach the cave of Shama. No. Reboot the lamp. Find Shama. Katya would... You find her there. Where is the cave? You will find the cave... On the east. It is a fountain. Uh, we lost him. <sighs> We're never going to find that cave. We don't even know where we are now. <sighs> We're going to get lost in the desert and be captured by a tribe of nomads and be forced to join a harem and live in a tent with 15 other girls and only one bathroom and... Hey, hey, relax, Angel. We'll be okay. The first thing we have to do is figure out which way is south. The sun always rises in the east. So if that's east, this way must be south. Did you learn that in your tour book of Morocco? <laughs> no. But I did learn that there are small oases throughout the desert. And I think... I see one now. Yes! Let's jam! I hope it's not a mirage. Over there. Aw, camels aren't ugly. No free water! Get away from my watering hole! Only water for trade! Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> I don't know, but mm, these dates are delicious. Mm, mm. This is really amazing. <laughs> the best date you've had in a long time, huh, Jade? <laughs> <laughs> Not funny. Our day trees make delicious fruit because their heads are in the fire and their feet are in the water. 
Can you help us? We're looking for the Cave of Shema. We can't get any reception on our cell phone. Do you have a phone in your house? Houses are graves for the living. I... Do you have a phone that works? We'll pay to use it. I have no need of coins. I have plenty. See? <gasps> Where did you get those? I did not steal them. No, no, no. Uh, of course not. Um, was there a girl here with those coins on her outfit? Pretty of face and pure of heart. Two girls and a man. Not nice. Professor Charlot. Ah. Oh, perhaps you would like to make a trade. <laughs> oh, no. There is no way I'm getting on top of a camel. Not even for Katya? Trade. Hmm, this is nice. We can't give our phone away. Hmm, you have something else to offer? I do not understand why she is with us. I am your partner. I am the one to remove the lamp. Then I may have a wish. You promised me. Little Fahim, are you afraid that I will give your wish away? I just don't understand. What if you are unable to remove the lamp? Shall we have come all this way for nothing? But I will remove it. I... Just think of her as insurance. And my wish? Oh, for heaven's sake, you will get your stupid little wish. Gold and riches and everything you ever dreamed of. I will not wish for riches, Said. <laughs> Shallow? Did you want some water now? This will make you feel better. Thank you. How is it that it flies? I did not know it still contained such powers. This child is curious as well as conscientious. <laughs> I just wondered why... It's the ring, pure one. The magic is in the ring. Oh, may I see it? Up close? Of course. So beautiful. I must find that ring! Do not let her move! <laughs> oh, nice, nice. How about trading for two pairs of Jade's designer shoes? Hmm, not bad. And my gold earrings? Well? One camel. One? But we need two. One and one half camel. Hold on, you can't do that. The cell phone, the shoes, the earrings, and this lovely silk scarf for the two camels. Uh, okay, here's the deal. Forget the shoes and the earrings, and give me that phone for my two camels. 
Yes! <laughs> Whoosh! <laughs> What's going on? We got him! We got the camels! Excellent. Let's move! Hot! Whoa! <laughs> oh, thank you. We really appreciate your help. In seeking honey, expect the sting of bees, my friends. What does that mean? The desert is playful and tricky, lady. Let not your eyes be fooled by mirage. And, most of all, step not harshly upon the salty, flat chot. The chot? <coughs> Firm is the ground until the desert cracks her salty smile. Then, all will disappear around you. Ah. Walk up! When you hear the crackle, remember my cackle and step no more. <laughs> Please, hurry! I must get to the airport immediately. It is a matter of life and death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't it always? Where is it? Oh, curses! Foolish girl! I've got to find it! I have to find it! Where? Go! Oh, where? It must, it must be here! It must be here! Where is it? The foolish girl! I've got to find it! I need to... Here! No! There! No! Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Why did you throw the ring? Now we are stranded! My friends will find me. Where? Where? Then you and your partner will be brought to justice. I must find the ring! I must find the ring! The ring! It was foolish. You do not know Charlot. He is a dangerous man. Why do you stay with him, then? Where else can I go? Charlot is the only one who protects me, cares for me, just the way I am. Your parents left you? My family was very poor. My father worked hard tending goats, but there was never enough to eat. One day, my father found a goblet buried in the sand. It was old and had been buried for many years. But it was all he had to give me for my birthday. I tried to be happy for the gift, but I could not help looking at it with disgust. I asked him how he could stand working so hard while being so poor, and he told me, sweet flower, every morning when I awake, I ask, what will I have today? Misery or joy? Love or hate? It is my choice how I wish to live my life. Then he kissed me on the forehead and pressed the goblet into my hand. From that moment on, I treasured that goblet as if it were covered in diamonds. Later, a stranger offered my father two loaves of bread in exchange for the goblet. My father said that the goblet was mine, so it was my decision to trade it or not. I could not let it go. My mother cried, Alia, we are so hungry. But father again said it was my choice, and he sent the man away. No. You, absolutely not. Alia is almost a woman. She can make her own choices. She is just young! Why do you speak to me this way? I am your wife, and you will listen to me now! That night, my sleep was restless. Enough! She is just young! Filled with bad I dreams. I am your wife, and you will listen to me so now! So help me, I will... Listen to me! You...
that I had been selfish and that I must give up my goblet. But when I ran out to tell my parents, they were gone. And so was my goblet. They had abandoned their selfish child forever. Every day of his life, my father chose love. But that day, he could not. He could not choose to love such a selfish child. Are you sure he abandoned you? Could not something else have happened? I... I have often hoped that. I wish I knew the truth. There it is! Well, my treasure. You found yourself another master, I see. Alia! I found it. You have the ring? Now, we may continue our journey to the Cave of Shama. Uh, yes. Uh, to the Cave of the Lamp. Perhaps you would like to drive this time, Fahim. What? Oh. Take the ring, little thief. Put it on your finger. Uh, no. No, thank you. Don't be shy. You wore it before. You can wear it again. Just take it. Oh, all right. I suppose I shall have to do everything myself. Let's go. What's that you're clutching so tightly? Ah, oh. oh, how sweet is this, Daddy? Oh, give that back! I've been thinking about your wish, Alia. If not for riches, then what will you wish for? I will wish for the truth. To know what happened to my parents. I see. Carpet, rise! No! Wait! Wait! Stop! You can't just leave her there! Stop! Stop! Sorry! I can't stop now, Alia! Stay there and I'll come back for you! <laughs> Later. get the air conditioned camels but they were all out. <coughs> hey, do you guys see that? I see something. <gasps> Maybe it's Katya or the French Foreign Legion or the cavalry. Let's find out. <coughs> Little thief girl! Oh, great. I'd rather see a mirage. Whoa! Get out of 
of my way. What are you doing here? Where's Katya? Go away! Is she with Professor Charlot? Is she all right? Your foolish little friend has flown off with my master! Your what? My master! My teacher! You're studying archaeology? <sighs> Charlot has taught me all I need to know to survive. He takes good care of me. Yeah, we can see that. He did until you and your stupid, pure-hearted friend came along. Okay, well, I can see that we're not wanted around here. Wait, Jade. We can't just leave her out here. Go! I don't need your help. Ah. You'd better come with us. You can ride with Jade and me. Oh, I don't want to ride with her. I am not coming with you. <gasps> me. South, if that's what you mean. Maybe we should just let the camels take the lead. I'll bet Lumpy here could take us right to the cave of Shema. Uh. Lumpy? Uh. <laughs> Shh! Do you hear that?
Why isn't this working? Why won't it open the cave? Curses! All the riches of the world lie within, and I cannot enter! enter. Think, think, I felt the ring. We came on the carpet. If the ring does not open the cave, another place, no, there must be another key. What could the key be? The key could be, hmm. Do not try that again. Lumpy, they'll get us out of this mess. We're gonna make it. Uh. Give me your veils! Chloe's pretty far down uh. there. We have to try! You could use the camera. Uh. Away. I know, I know. I must get in. I must get in. I must get in. Oh, 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 oh. Heat. Really? No. The out of place mountain. We're almost there. Come, we must keep moving and watch your stare. <laughs>
Hmm. Ah, uh, uh, yes. Right. We are getting close. Watch your step. And stay clear of the light. Shall do it. No way! Do you see any other way to get across? until you tell me why it bears my name. Your name? I am Katya Aziz, and this is the Crest of Aziz. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, this is better than I could have imagined. You are of the family of the Lamp, a descendant of the Genie, an Aziz. <laughs> Remove the lamp! Come to rescue you. And Alia as well. You are a clever little desert rat, aren't you? Let her go, Charlo! Of course. 
just as soon as she removes the lamp from its pedestal. Don't do it, Katya! Your father said that no one should remove the lamp! <laughs> well then, we should all just make ourselves comfortable, because Katya is going nowhere until she removes that lamp! Let me go, and I will remove it! <gasps> Good decision. But how do I know you won't just run if I let you go? You have my word. Hmm. Well, you are pure of heart. <clears throat> Is she really gonna give it to him? I, I don't know. But I think we should be ready for anything. The lamp! Sasha! You gave your word! I only promised to remove the lamp from the pedestal. After that... Give that to me! Chloe! Ah! Oh no, you don't! Yeah! No! Good work, Fahim. I shall make a master thief of you yet. Put it back, Alia. Katya's father said it shouldn't be removed. Do not listen to them. They don't care about you. They are not family the way I am. Haven't I always taken care of you? Give it to me! The Aziz family crest is on that lamp. I believe that removing it has put my family in jeopardy. I feel it. <sighs> I'm sorry, Katya. There are three wishes in this lamp. And there's something I have to know. Abdelaziz. 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 Servant of the powerful, appear. Servant of the lamp of Aziz. You are not a servant. You are my father. Oh, don't be so maudlin. Uh, you are so cold. You'll get your daddy back once he has granted the three wishes. Once the wishes are fulfilled, I shall return to the lamp where I must remain for the next. Two thousand years. So you'll have to wait a while. I will never leave you, Father. I will stay with the lamp forever. Let us stay with him, little Fahim. The important thing now is he owes us three wishes. Yes. And I wish to know what happened to my parents. What? Wait! 
As you wish. One night, a stranger came to your home and asked to trade two loaves of bread for a goblet. You said no. Your father was proud of you for making such a difficult choice. He was proud of me? He was. Your father did not know that the goblet was very valuable. But the stranger knew. And when he could not trick you into trading it, he came back that night to steal it. Your father and mother woke to find him. There was a struggle. My parents are... are dead? This is the truth. Then I wish to have my parents back. Oh! Stop wasting wishes! I am sorry. But that wish is beyond my power to grant. <laughs> now you know the truth, little Fahim. It is sad, but it is done. I promised you could have one wish, and your wish is fulfilled. Now give the lamp to me. No! There is more truth to know. I want to know. Who killed my family? What? Why waste a wish on that? For what purpose? It will not bring your parents back. Wish for silver, gold, jewels. Together we can have all the riches in the world. I wish to know who killed my parents. No! As you wish. Now wait, this is the truth. You! No, no, no! You yes. killed my parents. You ruined my life. Now I will destroy you. I wish. Wait, don't. Please, Alia. Once you make the last wish, my father will go back into the lamp for 2,000 years. That's right. You should save the last wish. We can use it later, when you've calmed down a little. Quiet! You have nothing to say about any of this any longer. You destroyed everything I ever had. Now it is my turn to destroy you. I wish. Please. At least let us say goodbye. He's my father. to the museum like you asked me to I shall never forgive myself sweet flower you must not let this forever fill you with sorrow it will be hard but each morning when you awake you must choose what will I have today misery or joy love or hate Choose wisely, my child. I wish... I wish... to set this genie free! What?! Father! Katya! Now I can hold you again, my daughter. Yes! Oh, Alia! You're amazing! You so did the right thing! Oh dear, 
We must all leave now. Camel always returns to his home. You chose love over hate, Alia. Your father would be proud of you once again. <sighs> it is good to finally know the truth about my family. But now, I also know that I am truly alone. That is not true. You are not alone. We shall be your new family. That is the truth. May the Almighty be between you and harm. And all the empty places you must walk. <laughs> 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 